How's it going? I have a uh, hundred and five hard clues just finished up. Um, I'm chilling in the behind the scenes area from that quest. You may remember um, with Rex or Double Xanax and Lucian. We're gonna be testing out random areas of RuneScape. Let's see if they bring us any luck. I'm not delusional. I know they don't, but you know, it's a fun way just to be like, oh. Araxor is my guy, or General Grador, which is over here. Might test him out later. Uh, taking a look at Hard Clue rewards because I haven't really done any easy or mediums. Um, I did those few easies, and I've never done a medium, so those are all blank um, hard clues. I've done 557 hard clues, which is nothing compared to the people, you know, most people that do hard clues or going for the title or anything like that. So I don't even have all of the common drops, common fortunates filled in. Um, and basically none of these. I do have a third age ranger coif and the barrows that I filled in um, from early on. Oh, that just popped up in clan chat. Oops. Well, yeah, but none of this stuff, and honestly, I don't even, that's not what I'm, what I'm really going for. Shadow dies, barrows that barrows dies, and common drops. So let's jump into 105 hearts. 122. Get up at you. Yeah, there you go, Mel. See, the thing about, I don't really go for titles or even pets, just because you can only have one of them at a time. People can only see one title or one pet, and it's more of a personal achievement, which I don't really care for. You know, cosmetic, you do this, you're going to do 10,000 hearts to get a cosmetic title, you know? So um, I don't really keep track of what I do and don't have uh, as far as the, the log goes. Uh, 195, there you go. Uh, Sarah Page. Sarah Page is, huh. I'm going to have to check that out, see if it's a fort, because it's the same price, but. 176 will keep it. 602, one, yeah, that one's a roll. 960, 176, 583. <laughs> Can't wait till I have a full globe chart outfit. That it's gonna make clues so much, so much easier. It takes a lot of time to get from hidey holes, um, go to the emote location, put on your equipment, perform the emote, get talk to the guy. Was it Remy? I forget his name. The clue guy, and then unequipped and put back in the hidey hole. Um, but you got to grind up to that, I understand. Just see you guys fly through. Uh, I usually do all my clues on World 16. It's my clan world. And uh, a lot of other people in my clan have a max out clan. A lot of other guys are zooming around doing clues. Um, so I can see how much easier it is with the globe chart outfit. Especially for the clue, like uh, I said in when I was talking about um, my methods for doing clues without the globe chart outfit whenever I reach the panic in the haunted woods Clue I have to go to the bank and drop all my stuff bring two drag wars, a fairy ring um, telly and uh, My clue go do the clue then go back to the bank. So there's a lot of unnecessary running around um, But it does take me. I mean I can do a hundred clues in a day. It's not you know it's a few hours. Um, it just honestly depends on how fast I can farm the clues from Hellhounds. Barrow's Die would be nice, but uh, honestly, just a bunch of masters would be great. Oh, nice. Puzzle skipping. 255. 550. 
I'm slowly making my way up towards a bill. I can't wait just to have a billion GP. Obviously, like I've got a billion in assorted combat items. Um, I've got all the Nox weapons, Ascensions, um, tier 90 armors, all that. So if I were to liquidate, I could get a bill. Um, I've got about 600 mil in random cash. But that first bill, you know, it's a, a big milestone for any RuneScape player. 140, get out of here. 594, 110. Nice, we got a mass there. Ooh, that looks fancy. Anything purple looks fancy. Nice. Also, I ran out of lighthouse teleports, and they're not buying. Like, lighthouse teleports are now 23k on the Grand Exchange each, so it goes to the same point as um, puzzle skipping tickets. 23k for a single step, just like a puzzle skipping ticket for a single step and a clue. Um, it all depends on how much money you have. Um, that's not unreasonable, I don't think, 23k for single step but all right there's a master nice i just had to drop a uh, few mil on lighthouse tellies let's hope i get enough of these so i don't have to do it for the next hundred Ooh, that is a sexy clue master and four puzzle skipping Yuck. Yuck. You're not going to get much worse than 130. Obviously, we've gotten some 83s and 83Ks, but there's no reason to penny pinch with hards. I hope I haven't rolled a master. I really haven't been watching. Uh, I probably should be. Nice, that's what I see. Because a master, I think it was said, it's about a 1 in 60 chance of a broadcast. Um, not 1 in 60 for a die, but for a broadcast in general. And I'd much rather get a master than a mill, honestly, just because of that. Nice. 97. We're timing it pretty well. When we get the rerolls, we get bad clues, so... It's not like we're having to pass up a lot on cash. Yeah, so like, I feel like fortunates are about 50-50. Because um, you roll, I don't know how many times you roll in each clue. What's that? Like uh, one, two, there's six, six rolls, potentially seven rolls per clue. So the chance of you getting a fortunate per clue is about 50-50, it seems like. Nice. There's a master, there's a, uh, ooh, what is that? I think, yeah, I don't think I had that one um, in my drop log, so. Slowly filling out all the common drops. 147, 982, there you go. Keep them coming. After after the end of each, each of these videos, I'll fill up my inventory full of fortunate comps and disassemble everything, go create three alchemical onyxes, but uh, I was going to say in an earlier video before uh, the time hit 15 minutes and the video cut on me, uh, was that for when creating alchemical onyxes, what you want to do is you want to create the item that costs the least between Grace of the Elves and uh, Luck of the Dwarves. Um, I don't think Passage of the, Vi of the Abyss is very viable um, right now, but if you're looking at the Grand Exchange, um, Grace of the Elves was up above Luck of the Dwarves like a few days ago by like, I think a couple, few hundred K, 400 K maybe, something like that. But 
um, everybody is creating gray cells because of that difference. So when you get your alchemical onyxes, um, you want to create the lower of the two so that you actually sell the items because you're going to be competing with a lot more, a lot less people um, for the same supply. It's not like the supply changes when the price changes. Or, yeah. All right, last 10. Feels bad, man. What is that, 300 now? Without a um, broadcast, but decent money all around. You know, you can't complain about all these fortunates we've been getting. But maybe in the next 100, right? We just got to keep going. Or, or right now, maybe. Wouldn't that be just sick? Yeah, I'll roll it. 287. Ooh, nice. Nice call. Well, that was a great way to end off. Um, no proc, but amazing money all around. And my bank's not full. I forgot to check that, but we're okay on that front anyway. All right. Peace out, guys.